we would we were never allowed to be bored because he would say boredom is a state of mind meaning like we better go figure out something to do and um recently in the last couple of years i forget what it was but i had the opportunity to say it back to him <laughs> um he said something like i'm bored i said dad boredom's a state of mind and that's a great moment in a child's life when they can throw something back at their parents <laughs> him i learned how to make friends my dad talked to everybody anywhere we went um he knew people he talked to people and he always used to tell me that everybody has a story and that we should learn from those stories and get to know people and talk to people and so that's true to this day when i'm with my dad and we go places he, he knows everybody and if he doesn't he's got friends by the time you leave um the first one is just perseverance you just keep going um every single morning of my life as a child living in my parents house he got up every morning he had his routine of breakfast he had a good attitude and i remember um him just always getting up and just going to take on the day and not letting anything stop him the you know just his Oh, that, that's him. If you hear an accent, you just, or a saying that you're like. So I do. Um, one time we were sitting out on the patio at the, um, at the island and looking up in the big trees and we were looking for um, eagles and other flying objects. And his, <laughs> he said, um, neat. I don't see an eagle, but I see a turkey buzzard. And he was talking about a turkey buzzard, but he pronounced it turkey buzzard. So <laughs> that's definitely one <laughs> that sticks in my um, memory. And we all laughed because we all knew what he was talking about. Um, not so much his accent, but his massacre of the English language. <laughs> he, went, went, he, he once went in, they were out here visiting, and we went into a place called Caribou Coffee, which is like a Starbucks. And he went in and um, ordered Lauren a Chiapino as opposed to a cappuccino. And then he forever could not remember the name of the coffee place, which was Caribou Coffee, and he always referred to it as Gorilla Coffee. He could not pronounce Kilauea, and he kept trying it all these different ways, Kilauea, this, that, and by the end of it, nobody could pronounce it because he messed it up so much that none of us could remember the um, correct pronunciation. I learned to ski, I was about five, and my brother was about three. And I think we were somewhere in California in the mountains and he put us at the top of a hill and said follow me and we did and Mark beat me and I was not happy so that was kind of my first experience with skiing um I think I pouted a lot he gave me an incredible start in my life um I've learned so much and seen so many things traveling the world following you all over the world, practically. Um, all the things we've seen, the adventures that we've had, um, the closeness of our, of our little family, and um, just all the things we did together, the, besides the traveling, all the little um, stamp collecting that we did, and moving different places, learning about the countries we lived in, eating the foods of the countries we lived in. I had no idea where we were half the time, but I always felt completely safe, um, safe and loved. And you taught me so much. Um, I remember as a little girl when we lived in San Francisco and 
you taught me, we had a map, there was a map on the wall. And we went through and I learned all where all the states were. I think at one point I even knew all the capitals of the states. Um, geography, you taught me how to read maps, which to this day, I love reading maps and looking at parts of the world that that we've been to and going back and reliving all those memories. Um, so just having a, a wonderful, exciting life, full of adventure. Life was never boring. Um, moving to Bellevue, settling down and having our family home, really giving us a foundation of coming from someplace that was always our family's dream to be from somewhere. And I just, I still love that I can, when people ask me where I'm from and I can say Seattle. And I thank you for not continuing our nomadic life through my high school years and things like that so that we could have a home and have a family home. And just having all the people over that we did and hearing the stories. And it, was a, it was a wonderful, wonderful childhood. And I consider myself so lucky and blessed to have you as my dad. And these past few years that we've spent more time together, now that my family's raised and I've been coming out, just hanging out with you more, have been priceless to me, hearing all your stories and finding out why we, why we lived here or why we lived there or finding out more about just your life and all the crazy antics that you um, that you did um, just you're a fascinating fascinating man and I've loved every single minute of being your daughter and I look forward to many more hours of conversations and stories because I know there's more stories in there with you and um thank you I love you